Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As I promised, I'm gonna try and make better content so that you're not bored and um, it's actually something that you can watch and enjoy because I think I, I come across like quite serious in when I try to do vlogs. So I've decided I'm just gonna like, not even think about it, just go for it, do my vlogs without thinking too much about it. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, this one is about um, things that we learned from going to Walt Disney World that I think are important. So tips if you're taking a baby or a toddler to Walt Disney World. I just kind of want to say a lot of people before we went to Walt Disney World kind of um, said he's too young to go. He's not going to enjoy it. Talking about Joseph um, who's 18 months. Um, he's not going to enjoy it. Um, it's going to be difficult with him. Honestly, it wasn't difficult at all. Um, and he thoroughly enjoyed the trip. He probably won't remember it, but we've got the photos to see he was there. But the joy that I got from seeing him happy, like the character interactions he had, um, being on rides together as a family when he's a baby, um, all of those things are memories that I've got now, which are, I'll never disappear. So for me, going to Walt Disney World with Joseph as an 18 month old was amazing. And don't let other people kind of dictate or kind of make you feel like bad for wanting to take a baby because that's how I felt a little bit but honestly um, it's my choice and absolutely I would take a baby again to Walt Disney World because I think there's so much as a family outside the big rides and stuff that you can do to make it like a really magical and fun experience. <laughs> kind of were prepared and ready for what we needed to have but it, I mean have your bag packed so you, you have everything that you need for the baby in there Um, I'm talking about nappies wipes a change of clothes um, a fan a hat sun cream all of those kind of things are so important when you're in the parks a bottle for some water or a baby cup whatever it is that they drink out of and um, because when you're in there the hustle and bustle and the heat we kind of weren't used to it and joseph got really sick on the second day i just think it's because we weren't prepared so from that point onwards we kind of made sure that we had everything that we needed for him to kind of enjoy the time in the park so yeah first one is be prepared just like a guide Um, and the second one is um, the baby centres. I don't know if you know, but every single park in Walt Disney World um, has a baby centre. I actually don't know if Disneyland Paris has one. It's something I'm going to look into, actually. Um, but yeah, Walt Disney World, every park has a baby centre. And we discovered this on the second day when we were in the parks because, um, like I said earlier, Joseph got really sick. So we were due to go to the Upshaw, I think it was, in Animal Kingdom. And we were on, on our way there and Joseph just vomited everywhere. And it was the second day at the park and I was really worried about him because after he'd vomited, he went straight to sleep and it wasn't like him at all. So I took him to first aid and kind of explained what had happened. And he wouldn't kind of wake up either. So we started panicking that we were going to ring an ambulance. But then he woke up and he was absolutely fine. So they told us about the baby centre. And in the baby centres, um, it's kind of like... They're all different, but it's like an area where you can change your baby's nappies. And there's also like an area where you can sit and feed them. So whether you're breastfeeding, bottle feeding them, and um, feeding them some food, there's some high chairs, you can sit in there. Um, and it was so cool. And it was what we really needed at that point, just to have a little bit of chill out time to get Joseph kind of rehydrated and feeling better again. So um, the, inside the baby centers as well, they also sell wipes, nappies, baby food, drinks milk all those kind of things so anything that you forget you can pick up from there so that's tip number two the baby centers are amazing tip number three um i would say this may not work for you but it worked for us as a family and um, as the holiday progressed we realized that staying in the parks all day is just not practical it wasn't going to work for us um 
the boys were absolutely shattered and so were we because what we wanted to do is kind of get there early go on rides and the heat was just too much i mean we went in june and i think that the humidity is really high then um but yeah what i would suggest is that what well, what we did is we got there up early and um, we tried to get there for magic hours if we could on that day and we spent a few hours in the park and um, just enjoying ourselves and going on our fast passes and then at about midday one o'clock would either grab some lunch in the park or would go back to the hotel and get some lunch and would stay in the hotel either in the room or down at the pool and let the boys have a swim until about five six o'clock and then we'd go back out for dinner and um, either to a park again or disney springs or just get back out um, and probably go for the meal whatever we'd booked um, so yes, yeah, so that's tip number three. Um, I'd try and avoid the middle part of the day if you've got like, young children, because the heat can be like far too much for them. Um, tip number four. Um, there's free iced water everywhere. So um, some pe pe someone actually told us this before we went to the parks, but any station that you go within the park, you can take a cup, either if it's your food free drinks cup or a baby cup, or they'll just give you a cup with free iced water in. And that is like ideal for kids and toddlers when they are hot and bothered during the day. Um, tip number five would be plan your fast passes. There are so many rides that you can go on as a family in Walt Disney World. Like I was really surprised because I thought Joseph was just going to kind of be pushed around most of the time. But what I actually found out as the holiday progressed is that um, he could go on loads of rides and we'd go on rides as a family and I think that's amazing and that's what made the holiday so special and he loved the character interactions so I'd say book character interactions and book fast passes as a family and rides that you can all enjoy together. I'll do another vlog um, about what rides I would suggest for babies and toddlers or ones that you can enjoy as a whole family as well. Go to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. I was asking everybody please keep your arms, hands, legs inside the vehicle at all times. Remain seated, that is fully seated. No standing up. Tip number six. <laughs> if I can count to six. Um, I would say that we didn't realise that you had to fold the buggy down on the transport from the Disney Hotel to the parks. So I'd just be prepared to kind of um, take a lightweight pram. We took two buggies, one for James and one for Joseph, and one of them was pretty heavy. The fill and tents that we took, and it was just, to be honest, in retrospect, we should have just took a little buggy for both of them. Um, but yeah, you have to fold down both the buggies when you've got two kids, it's hard kind of managing them when they fall asleep at the end of the day. But yeah, and if you can, use the monorails because you can push the buggies onto them. Obviously, they don't go every resort, but if you may be going from Epcot to Magic Kingdom, use that you can use the monorail to get there and you just have to push it on, which is a lot easier. So that's one other tip as well. Number seven, um, if you are um, have a Disney dining plan, I totally recommend the character interactions with babies or toddlers. Like for, for me personally, I can't speak for Gareth, but that made the holiday for me. Like my, my littlest Joseph loves his food. So the buffet breakfast and stuff like that, the buffet dinners were amazing for him. And just having those characters going around just made him like so interested and, and enjoying the experience. So which was, Generally, taking them out to a restaurant can be quite stressful with a baby or a toddler, but I think when you've got all that going on and they get up to do a dance and different things like that, I think it can make it really super duper special. So if you can um, book a, a character experience, which I know is expensive and I know not everyone does the dining plan, then I would recommend doing so. And I just want to add, on this trip, we stayed a week in a Disney hotel. So the first week we stayed at Art of Animation and in the second week we stayed at Universal at Cabana Bay and we got Ubers into um, Disney World um, on different days um, to go back and enjoy the, the Disney experience. Obviously, we went Universal as well. So if anyone's got any questions at all about anything that they want me to do a vlog about, just let us know and I'm more than happy to do it. Look at the big puddle, George! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Oh, James, you stay there. Get the 
final tip would be if if you're comfortable with doing it because not everybody is and but I thought it was really good fun to kind of dress the boys up. And I'm not talking about putting them in a Chewbacca comp um, costume so they're red hot and don't enjoy the day or anything that limits them from moving. I just, because I don't think that's fair at times. But I'm talking about kind of just like wearing a, a Winnie the Pooh top if you know you're going to meet Winnie the Pooh or um, wearing matching t-shirts as a family or different things like that because some of the most fun things that I can remember is when we've made a little bit of an effort to kind of dress up a little bit like um and, and those are the things that made that at that moment fun and obviously while the boys are at an age where they'll do it because god forbid I couldn't ask if I to dress up as many mouths it never ever happened but while they were four and one you know it was a brilliant opportunity to kind of have the cutest pictures of them like Disney bounding and stuff and for me I just think it made that made it that little bit special and I know that's not for everyone that's just kind of a tip from me from my point of view and what I would think was good so um I hope you enjoyed our tips I know there's not too many and um, if you'd like to see this kind of video again or if there's any videos in particular about Walt Disney World that you'd like to have more of then just leave us a comment below and thank you <laughs>